Welcome guys, in this video I will go over how I made an interactive 3D button or switch in Gato. It will not be a full tutorial but if you want I can make one so let me know in the comments. If you haven't seen the previous video on 3D keypad lock do check it out link in description. Before we start do consider subscribing for more content. Firstly, let's see it in action. The button can be turned on and off, and it can be connected to any other node, here I have connected it to a lamp. I have used the same button script to make two variations of buttons. The buttons are animated and play a sound when interacting. The scene setup is similar to the 3D keypad scene. There is a ground and a wall for the background. The scene has two lamps, and one of each type of button. For the player, I am using the FPS controller from Garbarge link in description. The UI has a label for the interaction text same as in the keypad video. Let's see the first button. It is a static body and has two meshes one for the case and another for the switch itself. It also has a collision shape. The animation player has a button on animation which rotates the switch to an on position. The button is on the second collision layer so that the player cannot collide with it. The pressed audio is played by the audio stream played 3D. Let's see the script. Firstly the button extends interactable. I have made the interactable class by following a tutorial from code with Tom link in description. The button has two states, either on or off. Initially, the button is off. We get references to the animation and audio player. The on state changed signal is emitted when the button is interacted with. As per the interactable class, we need to get interaction text and interact functions. If you don't know what these are check out my keypad video. The button itself has two main functions turn on and turn off. In turn on we make sure that there is no animation, then we set the state to on and play the button on animation. Similarly, in turn off, we play the on animation in reverse. After each animation has finished we emit the on state change signal. In our world scene, we connect this signal of the button to the world script. And here we turn the lamp on and off. The lamp script is also similar to the button but the lamp is not an interactable. It has two functions turn on and turn off. The lamp also has two export variables one for the on material and another for the off material. I have also made a second variation of the button using the same script but different meshes. The script is the same as the interactive button. With this technique, you can make multiple buttons that look different but function the same. The other lamp is the lamp on the right of the buttons. It is connected to the button variation. So that's it for this video. Check out the source code on my GitHub. Do subscribe, like, and comment for more content.